There are some good crappie on that on that log. Yep, yep I'm right there. That's a good fish. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what we want to see. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another one. Today we are going to be talking about one of these lures that I like to use during the fall. But as you can see, I well, actually you probably can't see. It's there's some ice out here on the lake. It's getting pretty cold. Um, I actually thinned filmed this main video about two weeks ago when we had still some decent weather up here in, in northern Wisconsin um, and now the weather has turned to ice fishing is going to be here pretty soon but in this video two things one I'm marking spots that I can find for ice fishing on a river system so that's kind of what I was doing trying to mark those deeper pieces of wood or rock piles stuff they're going to hold to during that early ice season but also putting this Euro tackle B vibe to work you see how sensitive the tail is? Not even moving it, just barely moving in the wind here. Or the wind's just barely pushing it and it's going all over the place. I use this both for open water and for ice fishing. Ice fishing, it's super important to have something that has an aggressive tail pattern that you don't have to move very much. That's gonna help trigger a bite, especially when these water temps get into the 30s. Right now, the water temps today are 36 degrees. This is gonna be, uh, yeah, this is probably gonna be the last time I get the boat on the lake. But let's flash back to two weeks ago. Definitely a lot warmer weather. Um, I think the water temps were probably in the upper 40s or low 50s at the time. And I happened to find a lay down on the current seam, kind of on the back end of a current seam. Got pushed up there during flooding, a big tree did. And these, cro these crappie were stacked, and I mean stacked, on this lay down. And uh, definitely threw a waypoint down on that. But if you want to get this lure, you can get it right now for $1. The top link in the video description goes to two more casts tackle box subscription tackle box system and it's such a cool system. I'm helping de design a, I guess more of a panfish style uh, tackle box system. Hopefully by next year we're going to have a lot more uh, lures that I really enjoy given a specific type of season. And right now we're getting into late fall, early winter, these slimmer profile baits with super sensitive tails. You don't even have to move them that much. Um, as you can see, I'm not even moving it. That wind is just it's barely moving in the wind, or the wind's barely blowing and it's moving like crazy right now. Ice fishing in open water, this is what I'm gonna be using. One of my main staple go-to lures. You're gonna get this lure uh, for just $1 in your tackle box system. You're also gonna get some digital products. And then next month, you're gonna get a random assortment of a lot of cool fishing lures. They got soft plastics like this, hair jigs, spoons, uh, crank baits, jerk baits, tons of different stuff. Um, and like I said before, we're, I'm trying to work with them to kind of build more of a panfish style tackle box eventually here. So if you want these lures for $1, click the top link in the video description. Yes, this is sponsored by Two More Cast Tackle Box. Also right now you can get some pretty cool graphic tees that are also selling at Two More Cast Tackle Box. Once you sign up for their subscription, you can actually add this to your cart. It makes a great Christmas gift or holiday gift coming up here in the next few weeks. So be sure, when you sign up for just $1, go ahead and get the lure, the, the Euro Tackle B-Vibe, catch you some crappie, and, you know, get a get a t-shirt for your, your friends and family. Pretty cool stuff, graphic tees, graphic tees, check them out. All right, let's get to fishing. There we go, dropping right into them. That's a good one. Come on, turn, buddy. Here he comes. Dump it. Oh, there he is. Yep, got him. That was such a light bite. That's a good fish. That is a really good fish. If that is a crappie, that's going to be our... Oh, man. I mean, he's still a good fish. It's just I thought he'd be bigger than that. I thought he'd be a 13. This guy might push 11, though. Let's put him on the bump board. Let's see what he's... Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, he's well, he's ten and three quarter. He hit a lot harder. Hit a lot harder than ten and three quarter fish. Yeah, I don't want to keep him. See, you, buddy. Not even feeling the bite. There he is. He on there? Man, this is such a weird bite. They're not thumping it. It's like they're hitting it so aggressively, they're actually pushing the bait forward. 
Gosh, there is a mess of crappie down there. That is ridiculous. There he is. Got him. Yeah, we'll see if he's a good one or not. Nope. Itty bitty guy. Well, he, he's probably a nine inch fish. But for the river, I want to get into some 12, 13, 14s. I just caught a 12. I got a 12 in my live well right now. Caught it before I uh, started filming here. Whenever you're casting out over brush piles or timber or even rock, sometimes these crop you'll set up on rock on these rivers. You want something with a lot of tail action, like this B vibe. It's super sensitive tail. If you get into bluegill, this tail is going to get bit off quite a bit. <laughs> so make sure you have a couple packs. Um, but this super sensitive tail. These little paddle tail swim baits. I like using them in the summertime, but in the fall, on the river systems, because I'm not, well, I'm not terribly deep. These, these fish run about 18 to 19 foot of water. I mean, they're suspended only 12, 14 feet down. So it's not like you have to have a huge jig head to get down there. There I am coming on the outside edge of that tree. Where's those big fish at? Couple of them look big. One's got it. Could be a better one. This guy could be a better one. We're just fighting hard. No, he's a better fish. That's a better fish. Probably another 11, 11 and a quarter maybe. Use some solid northern Wisconsin crappie for sure. Yep, another 11 inch crappie. Those are the kind you want to catch. Enough with those eight inchers from those lakes that I normally fish in. See you, buddy. I know a lot of you are cringing right now, thinking I should throw them in the live well and bring them home, but I already got fish at home to fry up. I don't need to keep any today. Just out here having fun, throwing that little soft plastic. White and chartreuse. White, chartreuse, and pink. Those are the three colors you should always have in your tackle box when you are crappie fishing. They will catch crappie pretty much anywhere. There's a few lakes that you might need a few different color patterns, but if you got those three, you'll be all right. Coming in about 30 feet out. Gonna let this thing drop down. There's some bigger fish towards that edge of that tree. Come on, bud. Somebody smack it. Man, they're not even I think they're grabbing it and running right at the boat with it. Because the only time I feel them is when I start reeling. It's a very odd bite. Little guy. See you, buddy. He was swimming with it the whole time, I bet. Oh, that's, that's a stud. That's a stud. That is a stud. Yup. That's our 12, I bet. That's our 12 inch fish. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what we want to see. Oh man, that is a, yup, 12 and a quarter. Told you there's some big fish down there. 12 and a quarter. I'm throwing a live well for just a second. And then we're gonna let him go. But I told you there's some big fish down there. Let's see if we can get a 13 off this off this tree. I'm doing a lot of homework right now that preparing for ice season. Woke up this morning, it was 31 degrees. Finding these spots because these fish are gonna hold here pretty much through first ice season, part of first part of ice season. You know, probably through December. That would be the stump. Alright, I gotta retie anyway. But doing a lot of homework, throwing these waypoints down on stuff like this in that 20 foot range. And uh this is where I'm probably going to be ice fishing that first part of December. There's one. I think it's a little guy. Yeah. Oh, it's a white crappie. Holy smokes. These are very, very rare up north. You can find them on the river systems. But a couple things. They got that black speck right there. But you can see they got the bars. That is a white crappie. It's too bad these aren't uh, two pounds up here. Most of the white crappie I catch are about that size. Little 10 inchers. Well, that's not a 10 incher. That was like a seven and a half. 
Come on, fellas. God dang, there's some good crappie. There are some good crappie on that on that log. Where am I? I felt the tap. I think I'm right there. Yep, I'm right there. That's a good fish. Yeah, that's another, that is a, oof. This is another 12. That might be another 12. That's a stud. That is an absolute tank of a crappie. For up north, actually that might be our Gosh dang, that might be our 13. That might be our 13. Oh, it's a 12 and a half. 12 and a half, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we wanted. This is what we wanted on these small little uh, 116 ounce and these B vibes. That is an awesome fish. I'm gonna let him go. See you, buddy. That wraps it up. Appreciate you watching. Again, finding pieces of, of cover um, that get pushed up on these current seams, whether it's rock, um, trees, just maybe just pieces of brush, that's where these crappie are gonna be coming late fall, early winter, before they start pushing out into those deeper holes, those deeper basins, if they can find them. On the river systems, there's a few deeper holes that I do know of that they like to suspend in. But for right now, that late fall, early winter period, this is my go-to. Okay. There still should be somewhat of a semi-aggressive bite. It hasn't completely shocked them with the cold. Um, that usually happens like late January, early February, where it's just, you get so cold to fish, and then you gotta really downsize to some smaller lures. But right now, this is a perfect little plastic, super sensitive, you can cast it and reel it in. That's actually what I was doing in the video, did a little more, uh, let it pendulum back to the boat. Um, but super sensitive plastic triggers the bite late fall, Actually, you probably use it year-round, but this is when I really like to use it, late fall into early ice. So check out, this is the Euro Tackle B Vive. You can get it right now for $1 with the Two More Cast Tackle Box subscription. Click the link in the video description. If you got any comments or questions about this or any of my setup or how I found anything uh, in the video, post them in the comment section below. And also, you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I always appreciate hearing from you, and I'm happy to help with any questions that you have, including sonar videos. Appreciate you watching. Good luck on the water. Stay safe out there. It's getting cold.